Hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update because I will be heading to Florida in two days to go try and see my first rocket launch and I'm taking you all along with me. That's right, there should be another SLS attempt on Saturday and then a Falcon 9 launch is scheduled for Sunday. So we have two opportunities for me to finally witness a rocket launch in person and how can I be Ellie in space if I haven't seen a dang rocket launch? T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens. I wanted to go to SLS on Monday. However, that was literally the day I was moving and unpacking my U-Haul. So I, for one, am kind of glad that it was scrubbed and hopefully it's a go for Saturday. But there's so much content and so many interviews that I wanna get while I'm there in Florida. I haven't been to Florida since I was very young, so I'm very excited to go as an adult because believe it or not, I guess I am one. <laughs> you may be wondering, Ellie, why are you in this forest? Why are you running? Why are you running? Um, well, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I just moved to Portland. I'm saving a ton of money so that I can go on these trips and bring you better content by living with my parental units. Uh, but I got a lot of hate actually for coming to live here in Portland, which is interesting because, you know, it's my life. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you all of this anarchy and unrest. <laughs> that I'm dealing with here. Um, you know, some people have said, I don't get why you're not in Texas or whatever. And the point is that I get a plane ticket and I go where, where I'm needed. So um, as much as, you know, it is a little bit of a quick trip since I'm still getting settled. I mean, I landed here, you know, arrived on Monday um, and I'm already leaving town on Friday, but I feel like if I didn't go to Florida right now, I really wouldn't be working that hard for you guys and I went full time so that I could put my all into this. And while many of us have our sights set on SLS right now, there is plenty of activity going on in Boca Chica. Just admire this slow-mo video that Lab Padre posted. So this is Booster 7's third static fire. Ta -da. And speaking of SpaceX, they are setting a launch cadence that is absolutely out of this world. Eric Berger observed this on Twitter and he posted saying that SpaceX just launched its 39th rocket of 2022 last night. Now this was from Vandenberg Space Force Base. The company has now launched a Falcon 9 every 6.2 days this year. That's putting them on pace for a total of 55 to 60 launches. And Eric wrote, I've heard the company's goal is 100 orbital flights next year. And of course, Elon confirmed this on Twitter. He says, yeah, aiming for up to 100 flights next year. Now, because I haven't made a video about this yet, let's talk a little bit about the SLS scrub, why that happened and what kind of options we have moving forward. So we know that there was a launch attempt of the Space Launch System rocket that was Monday, and NASA officials said that they're working now toward a second attempt to fly Artemis 1 on Saturday, September 3rd. NASA flight controllers halted the first launch attempt. This was after they were unable to verify that one of the SLS rocket's four main engines, this was engine number three, had been properly cooled to a temperature of negative 420 degrees Fahrenheit prior to ignition. Keep in mind the engines must be chilled to very cold temperatures to handle the injection of very cold liquid hydrogen and oxygen propellants. So NASA then held a news conference Tuesday evening. The program manager for SLS, John Honeycutt, said his engineering team believed the engine had actually cooled down from ambient temperature to near the required level, but it was not properly measured by a faulty temperature sensor. So the problem for NASA is that this sensor is not easily replaced, which would mean that they would likely need to roll back SLS to the vehicle assembly building at Kennedy Space Center. Now, if this happened, this would delay the launch of the rocket 
until at least October, which I probably won't stay until October. Uh, but NASA is starting to get concerned about wear and tear on the rocket that has now been stacked for nearly a full year. Honeycutt goes on to say he's confident that liquid hydrogen was flowing into engine number three during the countdown on Monday, and that other sensors, including pressure measurements, indicated that the engine was in an environment that would have properly cooled it down. So his team is working on a flight rationale plan that would allow the rocket to launch without getting good data from the temperature sensor on the engine. So leave your bets in the comments. Will I actually witness an SLS launch on Saturday or will I just be there to enjoy everything else that it has to offer, get some awesome interviews and probably just only see the Falcon 9? Leave your bets in the comments. Oh, also I'm wearing my Occupy Mars shirt, so yeah. I love the shirt. <laughs> okay, and the final thing that I wanna talk about today because yeah, I'm sorry, I've been a little bit behind on making videos. I've been editing the Boxable video, which is like an hour long, but I promise you it's good. And then, yeah, I don't know, moving. So that set me back a little bit, but Starlink is now coming to Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. It's official, it's exciting. The Royal Caribbean group announced its plan to implement SpaceX's Starlink, making the group the first in the cruise industry to adopt this high speed, low latency connectivity that we all love. This will, of course, give a better onboard experience for guests and crew fleet wide. Now this will be installed on Royal Caribbean International Celebrity Cruises and Silver Sea Cruise ships, along with any new vessels for each of the brands. We know that deployment of the Starlink technology will begin immediately leveraging the insights obtained from the trial on board Freedom of the Seas. So yes, they had a trial. It received tremendous positive feedback from guests and crew. So the installation is slated to be completed by the end of the first quarter of 2023. So now we're going to have Starlink on cruises. We should be having it on planes soon. It's just a really exciting time to be on the internet. And one of my favorite things to do here is go on hikes, go on walks. My parents live right across the street from this beautiful hiking area. Um, so I feel very just so grateful to be here. I can go on a walk here every day. Um, but yeah, I, I think that there's so many exciting things going on right now with SpaceX and um, obviously NASA. And so I'm really, really excited to go try and hopefully see two rocket launches. Um, you know, I know that Tim Dodd is down there right now. I'm gonna try to try to hunt him down and get the interview that I've been really trying to get. It's hard to coordinate um, some of these really big YouTubers because they're so busy and I totally understand. Um, but hopefully being down there, I'll be able to find him. I know that Angry Astronaut was down there. I'm not sure if he's still down there. Um, but I will be trying to get a lot of interviews on the scene, Ellie in space, boots on the ground. Um, but I just wanna thank you guys all so much for the support of the channel. Uh, it has been really cool to see just, you know, the flexibility that being full-time has given me. So I do wanna encourage you to please check out my Patreon if you haven't already. You can sign up for as little as a dollar a month to help me. And again, it really does help. I wanna provide the best content possible for you and you can help me. I've just enabled the membership feature on my channel and I've tried to keep it at a reasonable rate. Unfortunately, ad revenue on YouTube can be extremely hit or miss. And as a full-time content creator, your support goes a long way. In fact, individual supporters and sponsorships are the foundation for success of my channel. Ellie in Space. There are several ways that you can support Ellie in Space. Consider checking out my Patreon. You can also help me out by buying a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. I have some merchandise with my Ellie in Space logo. I also have a Venmo if maybe you just want to compliment me to a cup of rocket fuel for the brain, aka coffee. And I've just enabled my membership feature per your request. I know some of you don't necessarily want to go and make a Patreon, so it's so easy. You can just click a button and sign up for my membership of my channel. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Please consider joining the club and hey, let's go to Mars. Mm -hmm.